I'm so tired, I'm so sore. I'm gonna try to walk as much as I can, but I doubt it's gonna be a lot of stuff. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. I don't know what the sauce is, but... Nobody really prepares you for a C-section, but... Surprisingly, it was a pretty positive experience overall. Even with all the small complications. Look, hash brown here. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? Okay. How many months? What? Not. I'm swollen. Oh, you're swollen here? Yeah, it is out of C-section. I'm sorry, I, I supposed to no, ask you. Okay. I was thinking like we used to done put any part of here. Really? But, like yeah, nothing to see. The baby's not here, that's why like the other room was like, separate room is there, so mm. yeah, too distant. It's stolen all over there? All over. Mm. Not more because I like our person was smaller. Mm. But right now. You're passing gas? No. It's no. no. Are they are you taking any that is too soft now and all those things. They, they said that they're going to start scheduling it now, hopefully. Mm. So I'm like, good, because I'm trying to get something going, because this is like, yeah, very you have to pass like that. Yeah, it's very Today is day three post out. I'm still like in a lot of pain, but definitely way better. I got in some gases out, but now it just feels swollen and the actual incision of the cut. So, still a struggle to like get up fully, still a struggle to walk, like still hurts to go like it's a lot it's a lot i was supposed to get this charge today but it seems like if things don't progress i might be here for like another day but so far like bonding with the baby and stuff has been really well like there's no issues there I'm still trying to get my supply to like basically wake up because it just feels like so many delays you know first one obviously being like the c-section but i feel like the c it's not even about the c-section it's about the fact that we've gotten infections 
which like immediately separated us. So like she's a NICU while I'm here. So that's a blow because that cuts a lot of time in the day that we could be together, we could be bonding, we could be, uh, cause she could be latching, like it's a lot. Two, pumping hurts, not like physically on the breast, but it hurts because it's contracting everything in there. So it's literally hard to pump consistently, like eight times, 10 times, like, like every two, three hours, like it's hard to do them so much. So I'm probably getting three, like like four pumps a day, the least, I mean, the most sometimes. But this has just been like a very tough experience. Just like being alone here, being like immobilized, like not being able to use your own body is like one of the worst feelings. Having to have people like come and take care of you, like nurses, like clean up. Obviously, that's their job, but it's like as a person who's like, not even, I don't even want to, I don't want to say independent. As a person, you take care of yourself, you take care of your body. I like to take care of my body, so it's like, day two was tough for me, like emotionally, mentally too, like it was getting to me a little bit. The good news is she's doing really well, Nikki. I'm gonna find out today what's like her discharge. Like what's the vibe with her discharge? Cause I wanna make sure that she leaves with me. It's just a lot. I've been thinking. I've been wanting isolation to like a different degree. Sometimes. I got it right now. But I also have to suffer. And you know how in life you have to make sacrifices? Yeah. I'm over here trying to eat this food, bro. Like this, this is crazy. I'm really trying to be nutritious, but it's like, come on. Unless I will on you. But yeah, this is day three. No progress. The pain is still there. This morning I thought, oh wow, we're gonna have a great day, you know. The adrenaline lasted for a few hours though, so I'm happy about that. I used that to go see my daughter. My daughter, excuse me, that's my daughter's. What did you say to my daughter? Mm. Let me eat hot. There's one thing I have to get on my chest that I was telling Bay earlier because I'm not gonna lie, he has faithfully been there throughout this entire process and really, really stepped up on crazy levels. Like, as you can see, I'm swollen. I look pregnant again. This is all just gas, just gas, burps, and everything. Like, that doesn't want to come out. It's been three days. What's going on? If you guys choose to be in a relationship with somebody, you have to be mindful of like, and I'm talking about like, if you really, not just though, I want like a little boy, I want like a little boo. And like nowadays, it's so normalized to kind of like get somebody, just be with them because you want them to provide for you in some type of way. And like, that's whack. Like, be real. Be real with yourself, you know? Like, I want somebody that is gonna be with me, protect me, and just be there, you know, in those times. Like, 
you really know if your partner's there for you and they love you in those type of situations. Like, there's always some type of situations that happen in life that really show you. You don't got to question it. If somebody really loves you, because, I don't know, I feel like love is so, it's such a beautiful and complicated thing sometimes. Sometimes it's so easy. But it's like, there's levels to love, I've noticed, and it's also the fact that a lot of people really don't love unconditionally. It's the sad truth that I had to learn over the years, because I do. So it's sad when I see other people that don't. And it's sad when there's two people who either one does and one doesn't. They both think they do, but in reality, they don't. Well, they just don't at all. They love condition. Unhealthy boundaries and stuff that, like, hinders the relationship over time. I know what type of person I chose, like, you feel me? You know how many people have said to me, like, on some, like, oh, I really wish I'm gonna make my baby mama da 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 I'm trying to, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, that's really nasty. But I've always had that feeling. Of course I wanted to be a mom. I've been wanting to be a mom for so long. But I just knew, no, it's not the time. Because it was never about being a mom. It was about being with the right person. But I went through a lot, I'm not going to lie. I went through a lot. In this pregnancy. Not with the pregnancy itself. Like her, she was fine. Just like around me and it's just like a lot you know I went through a lot even with this delivery I can't believe it I really can and that's just like a part of my life now like in the memory shards like that's so crazy to me getting visited by people is cute but like people just come and then they'd be like oh hey da, da, da. i bought you some food or whatever that's usually the common thing they buy you a gift they buy you food they talk to you you talk about the experience or whatever and then yeah they go home i feel like it matters most when it's needed those first days where like it's the hardest time of your life and you're really going through it mentally day one i was kind of like i was still i think i was still like in shock about everything like when i got in the room i remember that night when i came in the room and they had to transfer me onto this bed and they told they had me do it like straight out of surgery and they're just like we're just gonna have you do it very slowly and I had to use my knees and my shoulders to kind of like keep. I was like, no way this is happening. And I just laid there. And I couldn't believe it. Like, wow. I'm going to just go to bed. Wake up. Day two was a hard day. Because I feel like day two in the morning. They stood me up for the first time. Well, actually, no, I'm lying. Technically, day one. This is why this is confusing. Their day one is considered after the surgery, so let's just do it like that. Day one was hard because day one, I was counting the first night as, like, day one. Because technically it is. But day one was the first night I had to wake, like, stand up. The first day I had to stand up. And I just thought about it. I'm just like, yo, Western medicine is really so rushed. It's the fact you had major abdominal surgery. And you're telling me yeah, you need to get up and walk. Major abdominal surgery. Let's take your catheter out. I felt like I should have had that catheter for like another day. Because day two was horrible. I broke down so much because of the fact that I was in so much pain. I could barely get off this bed. I still could barely get off this bed. Like Once I get on, 
it's a struggle it's gotten easier but like these beds like it, this is the last angle it goes and then you kind of just have to use the strength to get up how every like six or four six hours eight hours give you medicine get shot over here get this over there like yeah bro you massage I kept thinking about that whole time. I'm saying, how come y'all don't get like massages? What they did was they'll go like this. And they'll like press down on it. Because I know they have to feel it out. But I'm just like, oh, don't try to kill me. I'm just trying to do. You're trying to kill me. And then I was sharing the room with another mom. Which like it didn't bother me. Because it doesn't, I didn't care that she, she was there with her kid. Cute. God bless y'all. But it made me a little bit sad because I'm like, I'm hearing the baby cry. So it's like I had my first night without my first night because I was waking up when the baby crew, like, crew. That's past tense for cry. And, yeah. No baby. Next to me. Insane. Be mindful of who you're choosing to be in a relationship with. And I mean a real relationship, if you still in the era, well, it shouldn't be an era, but like if you still tell a person that you believe in love and you believe in dating for marriage and like for the future life, living together, like if you see yourself having that lifestyle with somebody, don't give up. The pain man is kicking. But it's like, for me, it's like, bro, what pain, what's the point of pain man if I'm still going to feel the issue? Like, the issue is the pain, but the issue is not the pain. The issue is the blockages. Well, good morning. It is finally what, day five, I believe. And I'm finally going home. I'm so excited. I feel so much better. Like, when I tell you that this was a journey, it was a journey. I'm not going to lie. But I'm happy. I'm leaving. There were, like, some things that I felt like were delayed and were, hell, hell, hold, like, holding me back. But obviously, it was due to, like, the C-section and everything. And, you know, just things happen in their own way, so it's cool. But I'm pumping right now, and good news. My milk finally came in, and like, just in time, because that was one of my concerns. Because of the delay and because of the fact that she was not with me and she was in NICU, that was one of my fears. I'm just like, how am I going to get this milk going? And I also was struggling to pump in the beginning because of pain. But now... It's a little bit easier to pump consistently, and I just made an ounce. Stop playing with me. I just made an ounce. Yeah. Technically, two ounces, because it's one on each side. Stop playing with me. So, I'm going to just keep that up. But her test results just came in. Her Billy Ruben dropped. I'm back in the game. My swelling went down. I'm about to eat. I'm about to eat right now. Y'all don't even know. I feel so much better, though. But, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted. I'm excited for this part because it's just like, <sighs> get to get dressed and everything. Da, da, da. I got breakfast over there, so I'm excited. I'm just happy, you know. This was definitely a journey, but it's all worth it, right? So, I'll keep you guys posted. And if I don't, then you know it's always going to be another video, so... Yeah. I love you guys. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for joining me in this journey. And just stay blessed. A few moments later. With an infant, you'll use your fingers for that. Watch me to see where they should go. Imagine a line right between the nipples. Put the tips of two fingers just below that line in the middle of the chest. 
Point your fingers straight down. Okay, now you do it. Place the tips of two fingers in the middle of the chest. You gotta see me, hold on. That is one of the most scariest things. Having to cough with a C-section, that is not, okay. It feels like everything is gonna fly out. Hey, so I just wanted to tune in real quick. We just finished the first week's appointment and everything is going perfectly well. She's gaining weight really nicely. Breastfeeding is going beautifully. My supply is amazing. Everything is just, my, also for me my healing is going completely on track um i wanted to kind of just like show you guys how i'm looking because stop playing hold up like y'all see you know it's there, it's, 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 it's getting, it's getting flat. It's still there too. But, I just looked at the mirror and I'm like, wow, I look good. I look good. Not bad, not bad.